Hello, it's Stephen Stokes with Remax Sunshine in Cape Coral, Florida. Today I've got this beautiful custom golf access, four bedroom, three bathroom, three car garage. You can see them right there. This is just under 2,600 square feet and it's on an oversized lot. This lot is 85 feet. Most of them are 120 by 80. Get a little extra on this one. Look at the beautiful landscaping in the front. It's in the Northwest, but I want to state you've got city water and sewer here. So this is in a developed part of the Northwest. Beautiful neighborhood, right? Great golf access. A lot of things going for this house. This house was originally priced just under 1.6 million. Now it's just over 1.3, may go lower. If you're interested in this house, give me a call, make an offer. Let's get this one under contract. I think it has a lot of great features and for a big house, right? 2,587 square feet, I think it has a lot to offer. So let's go together and take a look. Right away, we'll notice the flooring, beautiful ceramic plank flooring, no shine on that floor <laughs> for all you shiny floor haters. Nice. Opens up into this beautiful great room, high tray ceiling with the fan, always makes a big impact when someone comes into your home. And there are the sliders, and those are impact hurricane grade sliders. All the windows in this are hurricane impact resistant. First look at that calicata. Pastino Quartz countertop with the waterfall edge. I notice the dark cabinetry under the uh, island in contrast to the white cabinetry. Two-tone, like it a lot. Got this extra cabinet space over here. Of course, you've got all the lighting up under. Got beautiful appliances in this home. Here's a sample of the fridge. It's got the wood accent. You've got your freezer down below here. I personally am not a big fan of this, although a lot of people like the freezer down low. It gives you more room up top. I just don't like to bend down. That's the problem. But no question, top of the line appliances in this beautiful home. We do have an extra space over here for a pantry. And that's a deep pantry. Lots of space in there. Here's another nice look at the countertops with that quartz. And the two-tone, as we mentioned. Very nice. And how about out here? In this dining area, look at the glass, right? So much light here getting in. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. What a great area here to entertain. Not one, but two wine fridges. I say a wine fridge, but as you can see, you can keep anything in here. There's some water, some sodas some Miller lights, some Coors lights, some wine in the other one. But again, so convenient when you're entertaining to have that on hand while people sit here and look out, look out of these seamless windows over the pool area onto the canal, which we'll go to very shortly. But first, let's go back and check out this first room. This is a large room. Again, lots of light getting in here from these windows. Nice poolside view. This would make a great office. Notice the ceilings are still inlaid here, still custom ceilings. You've got this nice glass door. That's why I'm saying it would be a nice office area or maybe a gym. Here is our first bathroom. Notice the ceramic plank flooring. It runs throughout the entire house. No carpet in this house. Frameless glass shower door. And I like this tile. I've seen it before in some other homes. It's got this textured white tile. I really like it. But it's smooth, right? Easy to clean, but it gives that look. Got a nice uh, textured floor in there. There's your floating vanity. Into the next bedroom. Again, big windows, lots of light, ceiling fans. And here we have the double colonial doors with the wood shelving in the closet. back out through the kitchen. And I want to show you a couple of other rooms that are very special in this home. As we go through the kitchen here, you'll notice it really opens up. Look at the space back here. Lots of room. You've got this big double door on the left we're going to get to in a minute. Here's your laundry room with a big window, right? A big bright laundry room on the front of the house. That's different. Big work area here, full-size washer and dryer can go in here, lots of shelving space, lots of storage. Speaking of storage, look at this. Double colonial bifold doors with all that wood shelving. And then, tucked away behind the kitchen, how about this junior suite? 
So we've got another large bedroom here. And you say, well, where's the closet? Well, hold on. In through here, we have a walk-in closet. I mean, this is truly a junior suite. And think of the privacy of this bedroom uh, compared to the other rooms. You're really in a different section of the home. So nice. Just beautiful, right? Look at that. Again, walk-in closet. Can't beat it. Down through here, I'm going to show you the garage. Get the light here. So we've got the epoxy floor in the garage area here. Spacious three-car garage. This is a new construction. You can still smell the freshness of that epoxy floor. You'll notice the air handler up top there. That's very typical for these Florida homes. There's your hot water heater. Great bright work area in that garage. Now, let's go across the great room and take a look at the main bedroom. Lots to show here. And as we go across, you can really get a feel for this wow room when people come in, what they're going to see. Back through this little hallway, we've got a door, and here is the main bedroom. Beautiful ceiling with the two-tone colors. Instead of a slider here, you've got a nice glass door that leads out. And by the way, this is on the opposite side of the outdoor kitchen, which a lot of people said they like. Through here, take us into the main bathroom. And wow, we've gone with the darker cabinets here. It may be hard to tell, but those like a really dark bluish cabinet. Nice contrast. There's the water closet to the left. And we've got this, hey guys, we've got the split sinks on each side. You've got a large soaking tub there. This one's a lot bigger. Look at the size of that. Nice big work area there on that vanity. And a little bit different on this one, not what I was expecting. I saw the front profile of the home. I thought there would be a car wash shower, but instead they've put a shower in here. Very nice job, herringbone uh, floor in it. There's that accent tile with the gold that matches the kitchen. And we have double shower heads in here. You can get a good soak, good wash if you need a good wash. And it's nice and bright. So because they didn't do the car wash shower in the front, the walkthrough shower, what they've done is they've put in a massive closet. And this is controversial. Not everybody likes this. Um, I am starting to like it. It's super bright, right? Look at the size of this closet space in the front of the home, right? So what's nice about this, having this in the front, is the light. We have got these two large windows that are gonna let in all this natural light into the closet space. So the closet space really becomes incorporated as part of the home, as part of the living area, really, right? As opposed to just sort of a dark cave that most of us just stuff everything in. Uh, in that closet space, you could put a little chair in there, have a nice area. How about that entrance? Beautiful, right? Now, the best for last, as they say, I don't know, everything about this house seems to be the best to me. Here's the outside. We've got a nice bright day today. It's uh, mid-morning, just to give you a reference. You can see the pool. You've got that great big heated pool with spa. You see the sun deck there. I love those sun decks. You can put some chairs in that, get your toes wet without getting fully submersed in the water. You walk down to the side here so I can really show you that canal view. It's an oversized canal here. Beautiful. And good access to the gulf from here. There's your profile. You can see that beautiful clay tile roof. And you see your hot tub in the background there. Really nice space out here. And wait till I show you what they did with this outdoor kitchen. So first of all, as I mentioned, the outdoor kitchen, it's on the opposite side of the house from the master or the main bedroom. And that's something that a lot of people said they like. Here's the outdoor kitchen. We've got the TV there, we've got the sink, that's standard, nice fridge. And then we've got a grill with a range hood. But look what they did with the grill. This is called a griddle. <laughs> if you like griddle cakes, I guess you make griddle cakes on a griddle, right? So it's like a frying surface. Very cool to have that out here. Plus, you've got a nice area here on the side, right, for some extra 
space to put some chairs. If you want people just to sort of lay out and soak up the rays, how about this? Great neighborhood, great area. Like I said, 2023 build. It has been re reduced dramatically. It'll probably go a little bit lower. If you're interested in a golf access, new construction, I'm telling you right now, I show these houses every day to, to clients from all over the United States. This one right here is going to be the top pick in that price range. So if you've got a range of say a million three or less, this is going to be your best choice. Give me a call, reach out, text me. If you want any information, all the prices and the data sheets are pinned in the comments of the videos. Please subscribe. I'll see you again soon.